She got some sketchers, but she's also got those for when Sketcher. she needs to. Like the like the sketcher. <laughs> <laughs> What up? Hello, good morning, welcome in to another vlog here in the Bingham house. We are fresh off of a sleepover after mom has been gone on a retreat for the student council for our Rye Guy, our teenager, going into junior high, seventh grade. They were planning up a school year, team building, doing service projects, the whole thing. They are on their way back right now. They are almost home, actually. It was less than 24 hours they were gone. We can't wait to hear all about it, but before they get back, guys, to kick this day off, if you saw last night, we finished the day with a sleepover. We had some fun food, snacks, all the classic things that you do on a weekend. We've got a family party coming up tomorrow here at our house. Mom is about to return home, so we gotta get into cleaning mode right now. Clean this place up as fast as we can before mom comes in. Welcome home, bro, Mr. Stuco. How was it, dude? Awesome. <laughs> was it actually pretty awesome? Mom sent us pictures. You yeah. guys were doing like service projects, making posters. I did not get any sleep. Why? Burning hot in the basement. And did you guys have like a bed, or did you do the air mattress thing? Uh, Welcome home, mom. Sleeping bags, pillows, bug spray. I see all the essentials for a nice retreat in the mountains. It was actually awesome. I got to sleep on the bed. Oh, mom did get a bed. Yeah. Right, guy, no for you? No. Nope. No for you. We had a massive room in the basement that we all slept in. Oh, really? So it was like a big old room for everybody yeah, to party all the kids in? kids slept like on the ground. So that's why you didn't get any sleep. Just hanging out, well, partying. Well, he's like, I usually have my fan on and I have a white noise machine. Yeah, I have my sounds on and then I also have my LEDs on. So, so. what you're saying so is that there's like... a pee under the mattress, princess. Yes. <laughs> Dude, well, I want to hear about it, like, really quick. I know you guys just walked in, but I honestly wanted to hear, like, how it went. All I saw was pictures and stories that mom sent me, but there was, like, no cell phone service. Rag, I wasn't allowed to use his phone, so I haven't heard anything. No, they had all the phones in a box, so box it was really They put them all good. in a they, box? That's so cool. They had so much food for the kids. They had yeah. some leadership training on the expectations that are going to be put on them as members of the student council, that it is not a reason to be the exception, but rather to be the example. I like and that. And how I to like treat that. kids in the school and how you have to rise above. Make good choices and be a good kid and take leadership opportunities and it was really cool. What was your favorite part, would you say? My favorite part was probably just hanging out with everyone. That was yeah. fun. You had some of your friends there, I know yeah. for sure. How about the car ride? Did mom pack the snacks? Was yeah, she the, it was good. The cool car? I Definitely cool had the cool car, just yeah. saying, guys. Did you get to choose who's in your car or was it assigned? Yeah, we got they to got choose. They got to choose. Oh, so you got to go with your friends. Yeah. It was really cool. It wasn't even 24 hours. You guys left less than 24 hours ago. We're already back. Sounds like you might need a little bit of a nap, though, after that. I could definitely use a nap. <laughs> I see you brought home some leftovers. <laughs> My guy just told me the coolest thing as he walked upstairs. Like, bro, that's the stuff I was asking about. They're getting like Letterman jackets, like full blown student council jackets with a button up kind. He loves those. He used to wear one of those just for like style and fashion. He just had one that he got. Where was it? Like an old navy or a gap or it something? It was old like that? navy, but old yeah, navy. they've got cool shirts coming, really cool jackets and coming. Now it's got purpose though. Like it's actually gonna yeah. be his school. It's gonna have probably his year on it, his name. I don't know how they're gonna yeah. do it, but I think very, it's really cool. very exciting. And I'm very excited for him to kick off the school year in student council involved. I think that's what I love yeah. the most about seeing your stories on Insta Story and the pictures that you sent. This right guy's involved. One yes. thing to go into junior high, it's kind of scary. It can be kind of nerve wracking to go into a new thing, but he's going in two feet, full send. And they're just putting council. them in situations where they need to figure things out, learn to ask for help, work as a team. It's really cool. Can't wait, and I can't wait for I guy to get started, guys. It is one week away, and they start back to school. We have a lot to slam in in between, you guys. We got a family party. We got Rye Guy's actual birthday, Rye Guy's friend birthday party. So many things going down, so stick with us. We're gonna recoup here a little bit. Welcome mom back home, break into her snacks, and we'll be back with you shortly. Visit our snack bar. We have settled in a little bit here. When I say settled in, I mean mom has gotten to work on school stuff because as we've talked about, this is the last weekend before we officially head back into school. We've got one week left, but we've got a lot of fun stuff coming up for that. And so we need to make sure we are ready, prepared. Mom's going through the checklist, checking it twice. She's basically working like Santa over here. Not checking for naughty and nice though. She's checking for full school uniform, backpacks, lunch boxes, shoes, school supplies. Everything for back to school is right here in this room right now. So the 
one thing we've got to do, we've got all these uniforms for all the kids, all these shoes. You guys have seen us get the school supplies. You saw us get the backpacks, but now we got to try these uniforms on. We got to make sure they actually fit these growing children, Mindy. This is my uniform today. I'm so tired. <laughs> Thankfully, our kids are going to look better than me. They go through uniforms pretty fast. The pants is the biggest problem, but they grew out of their shorts from last summer. So I bought them new shorts. They usually last two years. But the pants, they wear the knees. knees. I'm like, do you guys walk around on your knees at school? I do no, not understand. I don't know. Knees are always the first thing they go. I remember when I was a kid, we would do the patch in the oh, knee. Yeah. I remember, I remember mine that. said like I love school and then really small underneath it said when it's out and I thought that was the coolest thing ever I was like oh. kids can wear red white and blue if you're in elementary three younger ones are Ryler is now going into junior high Ryler can now wear two additional colors so he can wear red white blue green and gray Ooh, spicing Plus, things have their, up they have their Friday shirts they're allowed to wear that have like their school branding and Ryler has his Stuco shirt that he's allowed to wear it's getting fancy up in here I school know. uniforms with a super stylish twist let's try some of these things on give everybody a little preview. First of all, we just want to see if it all fits. I know. Go through the checklist. Make sure we have everything we Wait, need. Yeah, we already bought the kids some shoes. If you guys didn't catch that vlog where we bought their school shoes, that one's a fun one. Guys, everything's in here. I was just saying we got backpacks, school New supplies. Socks. Kids are completely different. All like very different things. Let us begin. Everybody take like, an outfit. We don't have to like match it all. We don't have to do like everybody in blue, everybody in red or whatever. Pick out your favorite outfit that you have here. I know they're uniforms, probably not that tied to any of them. I like them. You like them? Okay, put them on. I'm gonna go in the other room and then come show us what you're working with. What you're working with? Okay, you guys, how are we looking? Are we ready back there? All right, the Bingham family proudly presents the school year 2021 uniform try on haul. <laughs> oh, we got Ryler Bingham, we got crew, we got Brexy, we got all the boys, all the uniforms. I love it, guys. I love it. Looking good, bro. I was looking good. Now I like that we have. Wait, we got a surprise entrance. It's Hazel Bingham ready for school. Hazy, are you a kitty cat? What are you doing? Hazel, look how adorable look, you are, guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love. No one has the same color on. I know I we're doing uniforms. I know uniforms can be basic and repetitive, but we're showing right here you can have a variety of looks while still rocking the school uniforms. So let's start with our junior hire right here, right guy. Going into seventh grade. What have you got on top here? Is that green? Yes, it is. And this is that sport material. It's the sweat wicking. Since you're going to see all the it. cute girls, you're going to be like, holy crap, she's Whoa, cute. whoa, whoa. Don't know about that, mom. But maybe you'll be running from them. So you've got some nice sport wicking <laughs> shirts on. That is awesome. Awesome. I love the shorts, dude. Very nice. And those are your brand new you Vans see? shoes. I love them. I love them, dude. Full, complete outfit. Now, was this first day of school, day one outfit? Are we thinking? Oh, are we picking that up? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. And that sweet backpack. Oh, and the backpack. I love it, dude. Great, complete look. I love it for your school uniform. And how does it fit, right, guy? How does it all fit? It fits pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Moving down to Crew Bingham. Going into sixth grade. He is running the elementary school, guys. It's his last year in elementary school. Last year before graduating into junior high. So he's going to go hard in sixth grade. What do you got for Crew Bingham here? We've got the Vans backpack. Absolutely love it. The red shirt. Classic. Let me just give it a little feel here. Ooh. Do you know where the toilet paper is? What aisle that's on? Acting like you work at Target. That's <laughs> strange. I was going to say right there. Oh! oh! They have got the khaki shorts. Love it. And they also do speedy dry ones. What are they? What is that sticker? Quick dry. 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 Speedy oh. dry. Oh. If you pee your really pants, nice. it'll dry really fast. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And the new shoes. These are all new socks. Now, guys, I know you're all very particular about your socks. Sometimes that can create quite the delay in the morning. Do you like your socks? Yes. Will you actually wear those? Are we going to fight every morning about those socks? Or are you going to put them on and go? These specific socks last year. And yeah. we knew exactly where to go buy the same ones. Because they actually worked last year. If those socks were dirty, we're going to be 30 minutes late for school. Crew looking amazing. This kid, dude, sixth grader right here. Next up, we have Brexton Bingham in the house. Should we do a quick high five real quick, buddy? Bump, bump, bump. Bum. Oh, <laughs> love it, bro. And Brexton does not have a backpack yet. I showed them in the vlog. Yeah, I actually got a picture. It's right here, show them. See, it's invisible. Oh, it's invisible. I like it, dude, and it's Wait, full. Me... How are you even like carrying that? It's so full and heavy. I actually showed in the vlog how amazing it is. The awesome tie-dye colors, your lunchbox, the whole bit. So you know we got that coming Tuesday, I think. It's coming, yeah, it's Tuesday. coming Tuesday. Dude, very casual, comfortable, love blue shirt, blue. khaki and pants. And these are those soft cotton ones that are jersey material. Ooh, you guys, I like I've done it. uniforms enough years. There are some materials <laughs> that are like scratchy. One year at Target, they were called in 
interlock this year. They were called Jersey. Always trial and error. I have a lot of returns. The kids end up finding just exactly what they And are. I gotta say, mom is very good at this, very seasoned veteran at this, because we've been doing uniforms for a very long time. At the end of June. She so. gets them very early, usually on a great deal. All different varieties. We Still try them on, deal. we see what we like best, we turn the ones we don't, keep the ones we do, and then quadruple down on them because we need a lot of them. So, looking good, Rex. Oh, and the shoes, and the shoes, and the shoes. What are those? Whoa. I love them. I love them. Okay, Hayes used a surprise entrance. I didn't even know you were hanging around here. Look at you. You are ready for school. This is our first grader. She's no longer a kindergartner. She is a full time at school, full day first grader who's going to have lunch at school. Who certainly loves to pose. Teacher today. She is so excited to have you. <laughs> AC is going to be going for the very first time to the full day of school morning till afternoon We're gonna miss her like crazy, but she's gonna love it right mom. We're gonna miss her. Yeah, we're gonna miss her yeah. Show us what you've got for your uniform okay, here today. You show them. Okay, so we're wearing a khaki skirt I love the fun bow The How bow is really that? cool and the cool part about these skirts that I found at Target <laughs> They have shorts built in also hazy girl What I love is that bow can be a little piece of personality, but it's still in your school colors Yes, it's, it's still, still in the school colors. I love it. She has a white polo, but it has these fun little oh my gosh She Hazel, is a freak of the week. You are these the perfect fun little buttons right model. here, but this is also that jersey material because it's super soft. Super soft. And, I love and it. the high socks and her the cute. The high socks down to the cute. These you know, are what the are these Mary called? Janes Mary you Jane's. You're guys, calling it that. Yeah. I told you guys about. So she did buy some tennis shoes. She got some Skechers, but she's also got those for when Skechers. she needs to. Like them, like them, Skechers. <laughs> Show me your backpack. Let me see how sparkly it is. Do now, do you think that personality school? matches this girl right here? I think <laughs> it does. <laughs> Hazel, you look amazing. First grade's going to be incredible. We love you. Trying to find a fluffy thing Hazel, yeah. there so it is meowgical <laughs> oh meow gosh i can't believe it. <laughs> it is time to say goodbye to the beautiful blue waters of vacation and hello to the beautiful blue cotton of school uniforms it's meow <laughs> It's meowgical. Basically, guys, summer is almost over, pretty much over. We do have some fun still left to be had here. It is now time to get ready to get back to school, and you guys are looking ready. Amazing, handsome, beautiful, smart, funny, gorgeous. What else are you guys? Annoying. <laughs> and strike a pose. Three, two, one, pose. Oh! <laughs> I don't know, do you think they're excited to go back to school? <laughs> Worked when they left. <laughs> You're good, though, bro. You got the move. <laughs> <laughs> With the backpacks on, all of your uniforms, we've got all of your school supplies, we've got shoes, socks, we've got everything we need to go back to school. We even stocked Ryler's locker. So with all of that taken care of, the only thing we got left is to go back to school. Alright. Yeah. Alright, see you guys see you at school. Later that same evening. Mom and I got a little bit fancied up. We saw the kids doing their fashion show. They I were dressed all nice. Like we wanted fancy. to do that. <laughs> Actually, guys, truth be told, we're gonna head out right now to celebrate our neighbor Sarah's. Should we say what birthday it is? It's a big one. She's celebrating a She's milestone sorry. birthday. Mindy, maybe she just want people to know that. It's a milestone oh, birthday. So we're gonna go celebrate with her tonight. But you guys, we've been talking about this family party coming up tomorrow. Because we have that flexibility, I kind of love when we're able to do that, include you guys on some of these fun activities that happen on Sundays. Yes. We're gonna vlog a little bit of that. So we're gonna say goodbye and good night for now. But we get to see you all tomorrow. But we're gonna see you in the morning for a fun celebration for the kids' birthdays here at the house, luau style. See you guys tomorrow, but in the vlog, we'll see you in like two seconds. Fast forward and welcome back to another day. It is Sunday here in the Bingham house and we are throwing down a party for three of the five summer birthdays. We are celebrating crew, Hazy, and Rye Guy today and we're gonna sneak in a little one for Sean, my brother, as well. The family's coming over. Let me show you the luau Hawaiian style setup we got going on outside. It's going to be an epic celebration. A lot of work, time, energy, and thought has gone into this fun family party. So we wanted to showcase a few of the pieces for you guys. You can see it in the vlog. Mom putting together the whole thing. Hawaiian luau style. My favorite, the tiki torches by far. Also, that adorable tiki hut. Rag guy built that this morning. He was thrilled to pitch in and help out. Let us know, you guys, what do you think is your favorite part of this party? We are just waiting for family guests to arrive. We will get the celebration underway. Just a fun spread of desserts. Hanging out together in the backyard. Enjoying the sunset. And celebrating each of the summer birthdays in the Bingham family. To you, happy birthday, dear Sean, Ryler, Crew, and Hazel. Happy birthday to you. So 
the aftermath of any great party is an equally great mess. That's usually how you know you had a good time. <laughs> yes, you guys, I think it went off awesome. The kids had so much fun. They were so grateful and appreciative for the gifts that they got. When you sing the happy birthday, I think we tried to go oldest to youngest. We got to celebrate Sean, Ryler, Crew, and Hazel all in one party, all in one luau. Sean also has the same birthday as Ryler. That's why we celebrated him today, August 15th. Those boys are both celebrating. It was fun to include him. The desserts were great. A big variety too. We had like the fun dirt cups. We had Oreo truffles. Oreo truffles. We had Stephanie's bun cookies. cakes. Stephanie's cookies. I, mean, I threw was in some fruit to feel like offset it. On top of desserts out there. It's yummy. Thanks for hanging out with us for now two days. Make sure you come back tomorrow because this is the last week of summer. Last it's week of awesome. summer. Rye Guy's got his friend party, his actual birthday. A lot of getting ready for going to school. We've done most of like the shopping and prepping. In fact, today we even packed up the kids' cubbies with their backpacks, their shoes, yeah. everything they're going to need. This is the last week of summer before the kids go back to school. Come back. We love you guys so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Pose. Get are moving a lot. Okay, hopefully I got one in there. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, do you think they're excited to go back to school? I can't decide. <laughs>